YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Fave 5. It's Friday, and this is episode 19 of my Fave 5 during the Black History Month. So as you know, I am picking out titles specifically for Black History, recommending to you. Hopefully, uh, if you've never seen them, hopefully you get a chance to watch them. And if you have, but it's been a while, definitely check these out. Um, I got some great titles here. Um, and, and I decided to add a little bit more. And that's because I'm just in the mood. Especially because of that battle last night, guys. If you did not check out the Black History Month battle on 4K D-Race channel between me and my man Dell on movies. Guys, go check it out. There was a lot of heat that was pulled. A lot of movies. Uh, if you haven't seen, definitely take it down. Throw it on your uh, your list and definitely watch them. Uh, amazing, amazing ba um, a battle. Panel. Was on point, uh, super engaged, super fun. Uh, so definitely go to 4K D Race um, page, check out that battle in its entirety, and um, it was good. But guys, let's get into it. Like I said, usually it's the Fave Five, but I'm saying I'm adding two. But you know what? Because I'm in the mood, I'm gonna go for a clear ten. Clear ten movies. Try to make it fast, so it's not too crazy, too long. But I'm giving you ten titles. I may try and just do this straight through the. Uh, the month because there's more than enough movies to do so um but if you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button so you know when i'm dropping new videos make sure the bell notification button is at all so you're not missing anything like and comment down below let me know what you think of the pics if you've seen them what do you think about them if not definitely check them out also i'd like to just give a shout out to all my subscribers and anybody that views the channel uh, thank you for the support here on YouTube and on Instagram. Greatly appreciated. And let's get into it. So, super excited about this pile. And actually, three of the movies I just got in today, I recognize that I did not have it in my collection. So, I'm glad to add new titles that, for me, definitely needs to be in there. First one up, one of my all-time favorite movies, uh, Duncan Penderhues. Now, if you don't know who Duncan Penderhues is, then you definitely need to watch this. Uh... That name will forever stick in your mind, excuse me, once you see this movie. And that is none other than Class Act with Kid in Play. Uh, essentially, um, you got Kid with the fro. He's Duncan Pendyhuis. Play is Blade Brown, right? Duncan Pendyhuis, super smart guy, 4.0 GPA, all the good stuff. Then you got Blade Brown, who's the complete opposite you know, criminal, whatever the case is. Their files get mixed up, and so now they have to live the life of each other in order to maintain this. So very fun, uh, 90s classic. Uh, when did this come out? This was 92, guys. So check out Class Act, man. Love it. Next one up, funny kind of comedy slash... Uh, it's a drama, but it's about a fatal attraction. And, uh, you know... There's a very thin line between love and hate, people. Martin Lawrence, thin line between love and hate. Super funny. He's a ladies' man. You know, never supposed to say certain keywords, but when you do, female, they may fall for it, right, in the movie, right? So he kind of got her to feel a little bit too much emotions, but he didn't know that she was a little crazy. You know, he said he tried to get Carl Jr. Burger. He wanted something. He started rapping, and that's how it happened. But uh, very funny comedy. Um, watch it. Lynn Winfield, she kills this role. So check this one out. Third one up is arguably my favorite kind of, I guess you call it love drama. I don't know. I call it, I just say drama. But, you know, it's got that whole relationship, whatever thing in it. Uh, absolute classic in my book. And it needs a blue release. So those are the other two that I just had. These picks, these first couple picks is all DVDs. None of, maybe one out of the seven has a Blu-ray release, which is sad. So we definitely need Blu-ray releases for this. But that's none other than Tay Diggs and Sanaya Lathan in Brown Sugar. You know, you got Queen Latif in this movie. You got Most Def in this movie. You got Nicole Ari Parker, Boris Cujo in this. Uh, I mean tons and tons and hey for the real collectors back in the day when we bought used i mean this is from fye but this is how this is how the collection grew back in the day you know um these two are best friends from brooklyn they shared this passion and love for hip-hop the music and they grew with it and you know but they always kind of kept close so it's 
It's my favorite. I love this movie. Criterion. Because you guys seem to be hitting it, so. Blue, um, brown Sugar. Next one up. I'm actually curious to see how many people actually seen this movie. Uh, I personally love this movie. Uh, you know, kind of gangster, kind of shoot 'em up type movie. But for some reason, just how it is, I love it. Four guys, four brothers grew up and kind of went into the business, crime. And that is my man Alan Payne in Blue Hill Avenue. Yes, that is um, G Money from New Jack City. Or uh, I forgot my man's name in um, The House of Pain. But yes, check this out, Blue Hill Avenue. I think it's a great, great watch. The next one up, classic in my book, Omar Epps, L O Cool J, In Too Deep. This does have the Blu-ray release, um, so I do need to upgrade it. Just been slacking on my Mackin. But nonetheless, um, Omar Epps is a um, he is an undercover cop, and he goes undercover, deep undercover, to infiltrate L O Cool J's whole operation right um but you know sometimes you go undercover you can get in too deep to where you almost feel like you're a part of that crew well this is what this is so definitely guys this is a must this is a must you got to check this out last well the last two of the dvds of the original seven are heavy hitters i want to say that most people have seen this next one for sure and it's one of the few ones that I think we all can agree needs to come out on DVD this year. I mean, Blu-ray this year, for sure. And that is Above the Rim. Absolute classic. Classic jersey. Uh, you know, my man Avon Box there was taking a shot in the park. Listen. You gotta see. I, I can't even say anything else about this. You gotta see Above the Rim if you have not seen it. Classic. And... The next and last one up for the DVD, again, and I'm going to use this word classic because these are classics, people. And this is, to me, this is one of the most, like, untalked about classic movies I can think of. And it is so riveting and is amazing story, uh, amazing cast, and was a very, very accurate depiction. And that is New Jersey Drive, people. Listen. Very deep movie. You have to check this out. Essentially, these guys grew up in a certain part of uh, New Jersey. And back then, you know, car theft was popular. And, I mean, these guys were just taking cars and joyriding. You know what I mean? Uh, it was part of the culture. Um, so this is what this is about. Uh, essentially, you got the two main characters and their crew. This is what they do. But obviously, with that comes law enforcement activity and such. So it's a story about it. Definitely check this out. Uh, you got everything that you can think of in this movie. Amazing movie. So now we're done with the DVDs. Let's move on and make this quick. Let's get it done because it's Friday. The next three up, like I said, are the ones that I just got in. On Blu-ray, I upgraded, right? Vampire in Brooklyn. And I'm going to tell you is Eddie Murphy as a vampire with Robin Gibbons in Brooklyn. I don't even know if I even need to say more. Just ridiculous. Crazy. Next one up is a is a black exploitation classic. I'm going to get you, sucker. Guys, listen. First off, you know, you got your guy coming home from the war. Finds out his brother dies. He comes to his neighborhood. His neighborhood is in shambles. So he's going up against, you know, the local uh, drug kingpin. And the comedy is crazy. You got my man down here. This is the only movie you'll ever see where a man has um, platform shoes with fish in it. It's, it's crazy. And then you have the, you know, the infamous Chris Rock going into the uh, restaurant scene. I'll let you see that for yourself. Funny. The cast is insane. You know, obviously anything with the Waynes is going to be good. But guys, I'm going to get you sucker. Check this out. And the final one, which is another unsung hero that you really don't ever see around, ever, ever, lockdown. Now, this guy's in New Jersey Drive. Uh, he's in, why did I get married, I believe, yep. And then that's Master P. You know, we know these guys, right? Now, main character, 
It's got it set. Family scholarship to play, I believe, basketball. And goes out with his friends one day and, you know, something happens and he finds himself locked up. Uh, so you're kind of like you got your future ahead of you. But then environment, whatever it is, just goes a complete opposite way. Uh, very movie hits you. It hits you in a different place. So, guys, that is my picks for this Friday. Um, fave 5 or Fave 10 right now because it's 10. Got the three Blu-rays. Got the seven DVDs. Listen, it's heat in here. Definitely let me know down in the comments below. Have you seen these movies? What do you think of them? Um, if you get some time, definitely watch them. And then come back and let me know because I am curious um, what you guys do think about these movies. I look forward to the other movies because there's just so many. Um, again, thank you guys, everyone, for the support, for following, for watching this video. Um, again, go check out that battle. It was amazing. And I hope you guys enjoy your weekend, and I will catch you later.